perfect. Start off with a bit of neutral cooking oil. Morning friends and welcome back to Bush Rats. You're out on the tracks today with young Lee in the land courier, fully stacked and packed and ready for another adventure. So today we've got a bit of an exciting one. We've got a mate who's come down from Perth. A lot of you would have heard of him. He's uh, kind of a big deal in the scene. And we've got the saws all packed, we've got the swags, we've got the cooking gear, and we're just gonna see what sort of mischiefs we can get up to. So we're just cruising into the wood collection zone now. We're gonna find a nice spot to camp and hopefully get a nice load of pink and grey. So stay tuned and we will see you once we're pulling the saws out, getting them sharpened up and getting ready to get into some wood. Yew. Harry, how are we going, mate? Mate, how are you? Good, Good to have you out here. Good to actually finally meet you. Yeah, what's, what's the plan for today, mate? We're going to fill this trailer up. Yeah, let's make this thing full of red gold. Yep. And um, take some home and burn it. That's my, my heating bill for the year done. So Harry's got himself a new 500 eye he wants to test out. Yeah. We've got some good wood here in the wood collection zone. Let's get it underway, mate. Stoke. Let's do it. How's that 500 eye running, mate? Mate, I've never been able to cut wood that fast. It's so light too. It's it weighs the same as my old, my old, as my old saw. So it's just got heaps of torque, eh? So much torque. Like it spins that 25 inch bar like it's a you know like it's a 16. You've been at it for about what 25 half an hour? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that'll fill the trailer, mate. I reckon it will, mate. Ah. Then we go find somewhere nice to camp. Yeah. Absolutely, keen ass. Two beers. Oh, mate, um, bad day to be a tin, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, but when I first met her, she had like a thing for like lumberjacks. Oh, true. Yeah. She was just like, like I came over one day, had a fire at home and stuff, and I was like, oh, you guys need some wood. She was like sawing up with a fucking handsaw some like wood, and I was like, I'll bring a chainsaw over. I brought it over, split it up for her, and she was like, come to bed now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got this running joke at fucking 
to all the boys that I cheek stick Jarrah. Oh, yeah. Every time I come home from wood shopping, it's like feeling wood over the shoulder, chase all the way into the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking it's true. Yeah, keep going for the winter, mate. Yeah, mate. We'll do it. That'll do it tonight. Does he get you through winter, eh, mate? I reckon he'll do it, mate. Yeah. That'll warm, warm the socks a little bit. Good couple of tonne there. Yeah, easy. <laughs> but we'll chuck a few more bits in the ute and we'll go find a nice spot to camp. Sounds good, man. Let's do it. Come on, Fred. Come on. Good morning on the saws. Uh, we've got Harry, a nice full trailer load of wood there. I've got a little bit in the back of the ute for tonight for uh, the campfire. So we're just cruising down the highway now. We're gonna go down to a nice spot on the river there, nice and tranquil, and uh, set up camp, get the awnings out, get the fire cranking, and I think Harry's cooking for us tonight, so I think about that one for showing him your wooden spots. But we'll see you guys soon once we get down there. Yo. Camp all set up. Got about 150 grams worth over here, 15 grams over here, but tell you what, we're both sleeping in the dirt. Yeah, both sleeping in the dirt, both looking at the same view. Yep. <laughs> I love it. A nice right. spot by the river, we've got the fire cranking. And you're on dinner tonight, eh? I am, mate. Yep, so we're a little bit bored. We're going to do an episode and everything, so if you want to see some nasty goring, come over to Finger to Bum. <laughs> Finger to Bum. <laughs> right, we'll have a few highlights of what he's making, but you want to watch the whole thing. Check out Harry's channel, I'm sure you already follow it. Losing it all. <laughs> Your chips and dips, and then you're on you're on dinner tonight, mate. Yeah, mate. So it's me. I'm joined tonight by uh, Levi from Bush Rats. How's it going? So he's got a cool YouTube channel actually if you want to go see some cool cats and cool stuff. And actually, you're a trained chef, aren't you? I'm a qualified chef, yes. You are a qualified chef. There you, go. there you go. See, yeah. done. Um, he's way more qualified than me. Now, you're a chef. Yep. So you can chop onion. Alright. Yes. So, we've got a pretty hot fire here, which is perfect. Start off with a bit of neutral cooking oil. Uh, Stir around, coat the wok nicely. Get that wok hay. Get that thread hair out of there. Will help. 
looks good. Better than the scrap. All right, so garnishes. Now, usually I do gratuitous B-roll straight away, but I want to check if this egg's still running. There you go guys, Nasty Goring, you fired a fork. If you want to watch the whole cook up, check out his video, it should be out before or after mine? Uh, I don't know. We'll put it on the screen. Check it out. Um, it'll, it'll be a thing, it'll be a video. It'll be, yeah. <laughs> right, I think he's done well. He's not a qualified chef, but you get, you get a tick of approval there, mate. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. We'll catch you in the morning. We're going to enjoy this one now and chill by the fire. Mm, I'll have a beer. Yeah, grab a beer. Mm. Where's my, where's my beer? This is so good. Good. Three more eggs in a butt. I agree. Heaps of egg. Mm. I brought fucking four eggs too. <laughs> need, need some for brekkie. Mm. That's weird. I don't eat brekkie. I haven't eaten brekkie in years. Like, I don't eat brekkie like ever. Ever? No. It's like, I eat brekkie like four times a year. Alright. <laughs> Every time I go camping, I always bring like bacon and eggs and usually for just in case. Yep. Always leave with no breakfast eating, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. But when I did, I was always like a wheat mix man. Yep. I'd always just like, oh. I never felt like hot breakfast in the morning. No. Unless it was freezing cold. I reckon I was bacon and egg toasty from a servo or something. Mm, maybe on the way back, but like, I was always a, I don't know, like I did a lot of like warm weather camping and I think I just wanted I, didn't, I couldn't be fucked because I only cook on fire, like, and I have done it forever. Yep. Like long before, <clears throat> long before anything. Like, um, so, like, if I'm going away for like a weekend, yeah, totally have our breakfast. Yep. But on extended trips, if I did a lot, um, I'd be like, no, I don't feel like hot breakfast. Like, I've eaten kind of a lot of hot, salty food, and I feel like something refreshing in the morning. So yeah, I'd just be like, I'd like icy cold milk and. Some fruit and some um, wheat bigs. Wheat bigs. Yep. Yeah. Nice fruit mm. salad and yogurt or something. Mm. I was always like, I used to bring frozen mango and mm -hmm. put it in my wheat bigs. Yep. Fucking delicious. Harry, been time, mate. Cheers, man. Thank you so down. much for having me. Yeah. And I've got an awesome, awesome stack of wood. And... Oh, I got a good feed out of it, so it's worked out pretty well. Yeah. Fred, been a good time as well, mate. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. If you like this kind of thing, like and subscribe. Check out Harry's channel if you're not already checking it out. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers, man. Yeah, good we'll see get you back down here again soon. Definitely. So, okay. Thanks, mate. Right, cheers, cheers, see you soon. Go, Fred. Fred, come on. Come on.